Building on the successful launch of Ventus 7, we are pleased to announce that Ventus 7.1 is out now and available for download on our website. We have been busy adding new features and making significant improvements to a render engine that are worth getting excited about. We now support physically based rendering, which includes the addition of new nodes, property changes, and rendering modes for materials. You can now render objects and materials with a level of detail and realism that was not possible with older versions, making it far easier to create visually stunning scenes using Ventas. The inclusion of physically based rendering adds new nodes for ambient, directional, spot, and point lights. A brand new HDR texture loader performs all of the pre-filtering required for image-based lighting without needing any external tools. Press F1 on any of our new PBR nodes to open our PBR contextual help scenes, and play around with the assets we have created to see this fantastic rendering for yourself. We have also added the ability to output in high dynamic range. Enable HDR globally for your Ventus project and benefit from the highest brightness and darkness tones resulting in the broadest possible contrast. Layers in your Ventus project with HDR enabled now have a new exposure property, which allows for fine tuning and better blending between HDR and even SDR layers. HDR output settings for video outputs can be adjusted using the new property dropdown in the configuration editor. High dynamic range paired with the new PBR workflow makes graphics rendered by Ventus look better than ever when paired with an HDR capable display connected by GPU or SDI outputs. We have also been busy making improvements to our configuration editor. You can now import video outputs from device configurations of single machines or entire clusters when setting up your screens. Importing video outputs from a device configuration will automatically label and set the resolution of your outputs. Now freely rearrange and rename your outputs in the output mapping to quickly match your device's configuration output order on singular or clustered machines. The measurement tool in the render setup editor can now snap in 45 degree increments or perpendicularly between two elements. Hold down the shift key while dragging a point to enable snapping, making it even easier to make accurate measurements. Measurement markers stay anchored to your screens or compositions, so you don't need to retake measurements when moving elements around in your layout. You can also copy and paste compositions, screens, and touch areas as part of this release. The addition of a new information box to the render setup makes it easy to see more information about the distances between two elements. This is especially useful when measuring elements with different DPI settings. It is now also possible to select which physical screen connected to a system will be used when the render preview in Ventus Designer goes full screen. The Ventus extension API is now production ready with the release of version 1.0. This Ventus extension API update is also being included as part of the latest release of Ventus 6.12 and 7.0. Windows 11 is now officially supported for single GPU, single screen setups, or for projects using off-screen outputs such as streaming or SDI. For multi-screen, multi-GPU setups, Windows 10 is still required. The movie clip node now includes cluster node functionality, which makes keeping movies in sync across multiple machines in a cluster much simpler. Our integration with Notch can now take advantage of systems with multiple graphics cards installed. You can specify which GPU will load specific Notch blocks to benefit from the performance gains in multi-GPU setups. The Chart node can now handle X and Y values that are not evenly distributed along the X axis. You can now evaluate Y values for any given X value, which was not previously possible. The Remoting 4 API extension has been improved for easier and better backup scenario handling. The graphical updates in Ventus 7.1 will allow you to create projects with the highest possible fidelity, and with the improvements to our setup and deployment tools, you can build projects quicker with greater flexibility. We encourage anyone interested in Ventus to check out our free community edition. Users who are on active maintenance can update now and immediately take advantage of these new enhancements and features. For a full list of changes and to learn more about Ventus 7.1, Please check the links to our release notes and user manual in the description below.